A very good morning to you and welcome to the news at 7. I am Iberi Ugunna. In the headlines this morning, review meeting on budget performance ends in Orca with emphasis on accountability, efficiency and productivity. Institute for Media and Society commends a number of broadcasting service on digitalization. Police IG sends nominees of Deputy Inspectors Generals of Police to Police Service Commission. On the foreign scene this morning, authorities say Sunday's tornado in Cuba killed three persons and left 172 others injured. And now details of the news, a two-day review meeting and budget performance of ministries, departments, agencies and local government areas has ended with a call for accountability, efficiency and productivity in budget process and implementation in the state. The meeting which took place at Amobia Orca South Local Government Area was organized by the state government through the Ministry of Economic Planning, Budget and Development Partners in collaboration with UNICEF. Amaka Chibuzokoe reports. Addressing the participants, the permanent secretary, Ministry of Economic Planning, Budget and Development Partners, Mr. Leo Imoka, said the budget performance appraisal is one of the mechanisms through which government assesses its performance in terms of capital budget and expenditure. The permanent secretary, represented by the acting director, research and planning, Mr. Ato Iwanya, said the workshop is an opportunity to build the capacity of the participants in enhancing their performances. Is an opportunity to enable the stakeholders from various ministries and local governments to build their capacity in order to enhance their performance of their mandate. The head of UNICEF program in the ministry, Mrs. Ebele Ayaji, maintained that review meetings will enhance transparency and accountability in budget implementation in order to ensure quality performance as well as engage the participants effectively on monitoring and evaluation of projects for effective budget performance. The review meeting will break a room for all the government agencies in the state to enhance transparency and accountability in budget implementation in order to ensure quality performance. The participants will be able to learn how to control the pressure expenditure of their projects. A resource person, Mr. Ucheaze, said most of the workers are not versatile with their designations and portfolios, hence the need for the workshop to enlighten and educate them. Actually, this is supposed to be a review meeting where we invite people to come and present their report. But when I looked at it, most of them doesn't know what performance review is, so I felt it is better to do a workshop so that next time we'll ask them to bring a report on their work. One of the participants, Comrade Chinyere Udebuna, representing the Local Government Service Commission, expressed optimism that at the end of the program, they will garner requisite knowledge that will enhance their performance and productivity. I believe at the end that each and every participant will be able to gain more knowledge on budget performance and evaluation, which will help the state at, at great length. From Amobia, Amaka Chibuzokoi, ABS News. Construction work on the Ukwaji Oka Umwele Chinibu East Chiago Road is in progress. Works correspondent Ngozi Obileri monitored pace of work on the road and now reports. The journey from Isiago to Nibo seems to be easy now, following massive construction work ongoing at the Ukwajoka Umwele Chinibo Isiago Road, being a state government project. The contract awarded to an indigenous contract, Jay Quarison, who hails from Nibo in Oka South Council area, commenced in NS three weeks ago and has seen the earthwork from Isiago Isis of the road to Ifite Nibo. So far, a four cell bus culvert has been constructed on the Obibia River and another two cell bus culverts completed on the Obalayam River at the the Isiago axis. According to the project supervisor, engineer Alexander Ihedioha, the road will also have two one-cell bus culverts at different locations. Mr. Ihedioha explained that the terrain of the road around the Abibia axis is a difficult one, coupled with the erosion menace on parts of the road, a major reason why work on the road will take up to three months before completion. He commended Governor Wulobiano for prompt release of funds, which enabled them mobilized to site with all their equipment, men and materials, expressing optimism that they will deliver a According to specification. So we are making a move now to make sure that within this week 
we will start excavation of the mud to feed the sharp sand and lateral to give out what we want to the level of the bridge. If you can look very well, the work is in progress. But um, I would say we thank God for the governor remembering this campaign, even the local go government chairman and the community. So we are just trying our best to see that we meet up according to the demand of the state government. Some residents of the area, Mrs. Benai Siokoye and Ijoma Namani, who expressed gratitude to state government for remembering them, lamented their plight on the road before and pledged their unalloyed support to the present administration. When completed, the road will open up road to farms at Nibo and Isiago, where many farm produce are harvested in large quantities, thereby giving farmers in the area value for all their efforts. What do before, we not join John Jozo, Manakita Alwane, Akonye Nebna, Moto, Yana Gestiti, a lazy joke when I get. I did the moment I want to know. 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 I have an aqua. I have a bundy name of Tagar. Even the teacher and I will be audio. I gave me touch on my plant. From the Ukwa Joka Umwele Chinibo Isaguru, I am Ngozi Obileri for ABS News. And away from that, the Anambra Broadcasting Service ABS has applauded the Institute for Media and Society, IMS, for maintaining strong human capacity relations with the establishment. The Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the ABS, Chief Uchiwara, made the commendation when the program consultant for Institute for Media and Society, Dr. Ifoma Duru, paid a courtesy call to the ABS corporate headquarters. Oka correspondent Daniel Ezigwe has the rest of the story. An associate professor of mass communication, Nam Jazikiwe University, Oka, was at ABS to anchor a one day media workshop on gathering and packaging news stories related to children, women, and people living with disabilities, sponsored by the European Union as part of its support for democratic governance in Nigeria. Commending the ABS for redefining its presence in digital broadcasting and online strength, the IMS consultant said that the selection of the establishment, along with few other media outlets for the training, lent huge strategic benefits for the attainment of professional precision. We have about 30 or more yeah. office staff that we are going to benefit today from this program. The station has gone digital. The, the station is no longer restricted to terrestrial broadcasting. And um, it is not just ABS radio as we used to know it here. It is not ABS radio and television. And all the programs are being online. And in this capacity, I think that um, they are strategic. Um, for more capacity building support. and support from other agencies. The ABS boss, Chief Mora, described the training as a precious media opportunity for the staff of the organization and commended the IMS and the European Union for bridging the gap between professional media practice and human capacity development. I want to also appreciate IMS. IMS, uh, this organization has benefited, I think, uh, in the past. Yes, we appreciate you. And also the EU, you know, for funding and supporting this project. Uh, what is happening today in terms of the capacity building that uh, if you will be leading today is very good. And I said, I expressed the hope that uh, in the future, you know, uh, IMS may consider also lending on support uh, because now we're talking about media convergence, isn't it? And uh, to see how uh, our staff can benefit in terms in the area of uh, you know, digital content development, and of course, uh, there are also other areas in life skills, you know, teamwork, uh, you know, research skills. In Oka, Daniel Ezigwe, ABS News. The member representing Njikoka and Archer in Dunokofia Federal Constituency, Mr. Dozi Wankwo, has flagged up with his re election campaign ahead of the February 16th polls. The campaign kick-started at Afo and Nkwa Market Squares in Agula and Archer local government area. Correspondent Emmanuel Chibata, who was on ground for ABS, completes the story.
Speaking at the campaign ground, the Apuga Shiaman, a national local government area, Baristan Dubisi Ubiadi, stressed the party's readiness in making sure that Mr. Wankwo, who has shown profound commitments and zeal in serving the people of Anosha, will be delivered. <laughs> In a remark, a member of the status of assembly, Mr. Azubike Okoye, who stressed that Apuga remains the party for the Igbos, advised India and Russia to avoid pitfalls but to ensure landslide victory for the Zewanko in the forthcoming election. <laughs> You've done both stomach empowerment and open empowerment. So what will they never? Representative of government will never. If all goes over, I will also. Responding, Mr. Wanko assured that if re-elected, he will focus on core areas in the three local government areas, which include sustainable youth empowerment, free health care services, even development, and as well touch lives of the less privileged. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mr. Wanko has been conferred with four honorary awards for his immense contributions to the development of Njikoka local government area. Emmanuel Chibata, ABS News. The Anglican Bishop of Oka Delsis, Right Reverend Alexander Ibezim, has sued for revival and renewal of family altar. Bishop Ibezim stated this in a homely at the Chapel of Redemption Unizik Permanent Site, Oka, during the Eucharistic worship for admission, rededication and thanksgiving for Oka Delsisian Women's Guild. Religious correspondent Amaka Chibuzukui attended the service in our reports. The Eucharistic service, which was to rededicate the woman anew for work of the ministry and for the presence of God to direct their activities both in their families, church and society, saw women from the 17 archdeaconries of Oka Diocese in attendance. Right Reverend Ibezim, who said that every family is in their need of family altar so as to reawake their spirit of prayers and to take charge of family differences, which is common in today's society. Bishop Ibezim revealed that altars in the church are not enough, stating that any home that have no altar is incomplete. A beautiful family without an altar is an endangered family. That family can disappear within a single day. That family can be wiped off. Without family altar, your home is not complete. To go back to renew your family altar, the Lord will bring it to come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Dalsisan president of Mother's Union, Women's Guild and Girls' Guild, Mrs. Mata Ibezim, called on women to be responsive to their duties and maintained that modely roles of taking charge of their families and raising godly children are important to having a serene society. Is this call for families to call, come together to seek the face of God? And when we seek the face of God, we will find Him. And whatever we are asking from God, God has the power to do it more than we are asking from Him. Because God answers the prayers of women. So are we ready to go to Him in prayers to present our needs and our challenges to Him? Because it's the God that answers prayer. In their various speeches, on behalf of the newly admitted mothers, Mrs. Blessing Mukabia and Ijoma Ezoke, thank God for elevating them to the status of womanhood, which is a vocation, asking God for his grace and promised to keep to the vows made to God and humanity. Wow, I'm very happy because all the while I've been wearing white in my parish. So, but today, from now henceforth, I know that I will be a new from my mother. I'm very happy and very glad. With God's grace, I say, I, I say, God, thank you for your grace upon us. I feel so excited, you know, it's an unforgettable experience, you know, and um, we have not seen a crowd like this, but I came with um, a positive heart, knowing that I am being admitted into the mother's family, the mother's family, and then um, it's a wonderful experience. 
the service featured series of prayers and thanksgiving by the women from Chapel of Redemption, Unizik, Oka, Amaka Chibuzo, Okoye, ABS News. And moving on to our national stories, the Acting Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, has sent the names of new Deputy Inspectors General of Police to the Police Service Commission for consideration and approval. It was gathered that the nominees include the four Secretary, Taiwo Lakanu, former Economic and Financial Crimes Commission Chairman, Ibrahim Lamode, and four others. Since the commencement of operations of the Asset Management Cooperation of Nigeria in 2010, about one trillion naira have been recovered from debtors of bank whose loans were taken over by the cooperation. The cooperation set up by the federal government through the Central Bank of Nigeria to bail out banks through the purchase of non-performing loans and to recover loans from debtors. The finance minister said that out of the recovered amount, cash accounted for 60%, while non-cash assets such as properties and equity securities accounted for the balance of 40%. She said over the same period, Amcon's repayment of its indebtedness to CBN was over 1 trillion naira, while its total debt obligation to the CBN currently stood in excess of 5 trillion naira. She explained that going by the current economic realities, the federal government could not afford to write up the debts in the short term. And moving on to the foreign scene now, a tornado has hit the Cuban capital Havana. Sunday night has left three people dead and 172 injured. Cuban President Miguel Diaz Canel visited emergency crews around the city overnight and wrote on Twitter that the damage was severe. Police cordoned Alpha Street in Havana after the tornado. Strong winds damaged buildings and caused flooding in low lying areas of Havana, according to a government statement, where the provinces of Pina del Rio, Atemisa, and Maya Bekei also affected. Cuban actor Luis Silva said he was driving with his wife and children when the tornado struck. Strong winds knocked down utility poles. The tornado left much of the city in darkness. The island nation regularly suffers extreme weather events such as hurricanes and Atlantic storms. And on sports news, Nigerian Isaac's success was the happiest African footballer in England at the weekend as he scored the goal that ensured Watford a place in the FA Cup last 16. The 23-year-old who has been capped by his country at age limit and senior levels netted in the 90th minute to seal a 2-0 win at fellow Premier League outfit Newcastle United. On the continent, there were braces for Moroccan Youssef El Nesri in La Liga and France-born Ivorian international Nicolas Pep in League One. The Nigerian forward lived up to his name in appropriate fashion when he sealed the Hornets 2-0 victory away to Newcastle with a close-range finish at St. James Park. And that's it on the news at 7. Remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by logging onto our website, www.absradiotv.com. Like us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash ABS Radio Television. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at ABS Radio TV. And just before we go this morning, a quick reminder of our top stories. Review meeting on budget performance has ended in Orca with emphasis on accountability, efficiency, and productivity. Institute for Media and Society has commended a number of broadcasting service on digitization. Police IG has sent nominees of Deputy Inspectors General of Police to Police Service Commission. And on the foreign scene, we brought to you that authorities have said that Sunday's tornado in Cuba has killed three persons and left 172 others injured. And that's the size of our package this morning. Many thanks for joining us. I'm Iberi Ugonna. Good morning, and I'm going to continue shortly. Please stay with us.